I'm Seven. Today, I'm going to read a story. The title of this story is The Magic Pot. Mr. Wang was a fisherman. He worked hard, but he was poor. He could never catch enough fish to feed himself and his wife. One day, he caught one little fish. Mr. and Mrs. Wang would have to share it for dinner. Then something heavy tugged at Mr. Wong's fishing line. This fish must be huge, he said. He pulled up the line. Instead of a giant fish, Mr. Wong had caught a big metal pot. Mr. Wong was not happy. A big pot to cook in, but nothing to cook, he said to himself. He threw the one little fish into the old pot and start dragging it home. Perhaps he could trade the pot for food in the village. Mr. Wong arrived at his house. His wife looked into the pot. Well, at least you caught two fish, Mrs. Wong said smiling. What do you mean? Mr. Wong said. I only caught one. He looked inside the pot. Sure enough, there were two fish flopping around inside. Mr. and Mrs. Wong could, Wong could not explain where the second fish came from. They were too hungry to complain. Mrs. Wong added they only turned it to the pot to make stew. Suddenly, there were two turnips in the pot. This pot must be magic, Mr. Wong said. He pulled both fish out of the pot. Then he pulled them back. He saw two more fish appear. He did it again, and then there were eight. We'll never be hungry again, he cheered. idea, Mr. Wong said. He dumped the wet fish onto the floor. Then he put a single coin they had into the pot. It turned into two coins. She doubled the coins again and again. Soon the tiny house was overflowing with money. Mr. and Mrs. Wong were so happy. They jumped for joy. We'll never be hungry or poor again, they sang. Mrs. Wong was so excited, she didn't watch where she was stepping. She slipped on the wet fishy floor and tumbled into the pot. Mrs. Wong reached in and pulled out Mrs. Wong. And as Mrs. Wong was brushing off her cloth, a second Mrs. Wong emerged from the pot. The two confused. Mrs. Wong looked at each other. They shrugged. There were two of them, and now. And no one could do anything about it. Well, we still have to eat, said the first Mrs. Wong. Mr. Wong and I will have fish still, said the first Mrs. Wong. No, Mr. Wong and I will have steamed fish for dinner, said the second Mrs. Wong. The two Mrs. Wong argued. The first Mrs. Wong grabbed Mr. Wong by the arm. Come on, husband, she said. We will eat fish stew together. The second Mrs. Wong grabbed Mr. Wong's arm. Other arm. We will have be having steamed fish. The two Mrs. Wong tug and pulled at poor Mr. Wong. <coughs> then Mr. Wong lost his balance. He fell into the pond. Oh no, cried the first Mrs. Wong. Pull him out, cried the second Mrs. Wong. The first Mrs. Wong reached into the pond. She pulled out Mr. Wong. Then out climbed a second Mr. Wong. 
The two Mrs. Wong were happy. They now each had a husband of their own. I guess two Wongs can make a right, chuckled the first Mrs. Wong. The couple quickly became best friends. They even built identical houses next to each other. The two Mrs. Wong never argued again. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.